Hi, it's been a while. I'm back. I took a little break from filming in English and posting here on this channel because I had so much work to do with other stuff, other projects, other brand deals on my Polish YouTube channel. And also I was traveling, I was in New York, then in San Francisco, and I just did not have time to vlog in English. But now I think I can do it. We'll see. I'm not gonna promise anything. Today we're gonna have a fun day. Now it's 7 a.m. My roommate is still sleeping, I think. So I'm not gonna yell. I want to do my nails. Now they're naked and I was thinking about doing like a red French to spice things up because I'm always wearing nude nails or white French nails. This? What do you think? I don't have this color. I only have... I love this. So, Bella, where have you been, Loka? I think the last video on this channel was packing for New York. So I went to New York for a week. It was amazing. If I could and if my job would be more social, <laughs> because I feel like influencing and doing social media is very isolating because you have to edit, work, film. It's all like you. You have to do it on your own. If I would work in this type of job that a social thing that for sure I would move. And after New York, I came here to LA for, I think, a week. And then we left for San Francisco. We drove for seven hours. It was a lot of fun. And also I loved San Francisco. It's so more chill. I saw a lot of European influence, like from Germany, Scandinavia. The houses are beautiful and the air so much better than here. And we had just like chill days with my roommate's family. I missed vlogging in English. I loved vlogging in English. I don't know why. Maybe because it's like a very new thing for me. And also I feel challenged to speak for the whole day and kind of think in English. So, but a lot has happened, but I don't know where to even start. I think New York really inspired me to dress as I want every day exactly what I want. I'm trying to stop caring how other people look at me. Like in LA there's a lot of judgmental people that they even speak up when they don't like your outfit and that's terrifying and I don't know why somebody would do that. We live once so we should not care. I put a foundation base gel and now I'm putting nude pinkish gel. Today I want to go and explore another city, another area in LA and it's gonna be Silver Lake. So I hope we're gonna go also to some thrift stores. I don't remember when was the last time I went thrifting. This is the base. With this I really have to focus. I love French nails because then your fingers look longer. I really like Silver Lake. I think it's a really cool area. It's very artsy, cool people. I'm gonna finish my nails because when I'm talking, it's gonna take way longer. Yeah. I'm so sore after yesterday, after gym. I had a upper body day. <laughs> I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm in my smoothie face because I'm trying every morning get 30 grams of protein. So I'm gonna show you how to make a protein smoothie that it's super healthy. I'm starting with water, spirulina powder. If you don't have spirulina, you can add spinach, kale, whatever greens you have. Protein powder. Then I'm adding sea moss. I'm eating one spoon of sea moss every day. And if I'm making a smoothie, I'm just adding to it. The texture is weird and I'm almost done. So I've made it myself. I've been using it for, I was also traveling, but like for a month. I don't know, I, I think I need more time. Cinnamon, sea salt, spoon of cocoa powder, one date. I think I'm gonna blend this all together and then add the frozen banana. I don't know if I showed my nails. I love them. This is the smoothie. 
that's my room the other day i got this book from a friend and this book literally changed my life i remember when i read this and the art of not giving a fuck i started my youtube channel But I also know that the book made some damage because not everything aligns with psychology and with science. So I really want to read this again and make my opinion about this book after everything and after therapy. I'm also recording daily TikTok. So if you're interested, I'm gonna leave link down below. A smoothie a day. This is living in LA. Welcome to the daily calm. We each inhale. Sometimes in the morning when I do my makeup, I'm listening to a morning meditation. And today I play 10 minute mindfulness meditation. I think I struggle that I always have to listen to something in the background. But what really helped like be more present was to make small changes. So instead of listening to a podcast or a YouTube video, I'm listening to like a morning meditation. It helps, it helps a lot to just like be in the moment, focus on your breath and 10 minutes, it's not a lot. I'm doing makeup and I'm trying something new. I love when girls have like a lip liner and then gloss with glitter. I'm gonna use the golden gold glitch. Ooh, I know, I can also put it on my eyelids. Oh, pretty. I got new glasses. I look like a middle school teacher. I'm in my gold face. I have some good news. My AC in my car is working and I did not do anything. I don't know how, but I'm really happy. Like, see? It works magically. The coffee shop that we're going to is Cafe Nido. I love my nails. Small things can bring so much joy. Like, okay, I don't have any summer plans, travel stuff. New York and San Francisco were the only things that I knew that I'm gonna go to. And it's unreal that I went this year to New York. It was always like my biggest dream to go to New York. And I'm not over it. When I'm looking at videos, pictures, I'm like, how did I get so lucky? Hashtag blessed. Oh. I thought that my family will come and visit me this year, but unfortunately it will not happen. Maybe I'm gonna go for Christmas to Poland. Uh, this is, I think this is the hardest part with moving out so far. That, oh my God, <laughs> that's insane. When I'm thinking more about it, that I'm not with my family, not close to my, you know, my country, my people, it can be very overwhelming and you can feel very, I sometimes feel very lonely, especially when I'm seeing people here with their families. But then also my family is not perfect. And if I'm in Poland, it will never look like that. So this is another thing that I have to accept. But anyway... <laughs> oh, I know what I wanted to say. Now I'm really focused on exploring LA, having fun here, meeting new people, meeting with my friends, going out, having fun here in LA and creating happiness here right now in my like normal, regular life. I mean, regular life, like living in LA, it doesn't feel like a, like my, Oh my god, the guy was driving so close. Wow, that was so scary. He was literally at my lane. I sometimes fell into the trap of seeking happiness, looking for happiness in future moments, in travels, counting the days to an event, to a day, to a date. 
and I feel like when I'm waiting for a happiness then I'm kind of telling myself that I'm not happy right now or I can be happy that something has to happen and we are here we at the coffee shop now I have to find parking finding parking was pretty easy so I'm gonna go to the coffee shop we'll see if there's gonna be a lot of people and wish me luck <laughs> you never know how it's gonna be The coffee shop was so busy there was so many people but i finished my podcast episode and i edited some of my san francisco vlog and now i'm trying to figure out where to go to eat bodega park is the intersection of la and korean flavors <laughs> okay it's gonna take a minute we're going to a place all day baby i heard really good reviews my friend the other day was telling that we have to go there so i'm gonna go on my own i think they have a good breakfast burrito it's 2 p.m oh my god the coffee i mean there was just too many people but i could focus and it's all like in nature and like outside but in a shadow it was pretty nice i would go there but if there would be less people <gasps> I'm really hungry, I can't think. So I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna play some music. I'm sitting outside and I'm waiting for food. I ask about recommendation, what is like the best thing to get here. The waiter recommended me a biscuit sandwich with a jam. I was thinking about breakfast burrito, but she said the biscuit is better because it's homemade. So I'm excited. That was nice. I felt like I was on a date with myself. With this place, I don't think I would come again because there was nothing special. The thing that I had was pretty good, but just nothing spectacular. I enjoyed it. Maybe also not my type of food. Like it was, you know, pretty intense, like a biscuit with egg and bacon. And now I'm ready for drifting. I'm gonna go to a bunch of drift stores. I'm a little bit tired. After the food, I feel better. Like I don't have to go home. We'll see how it's gonna go. Those glasses put me into a character. Like now I'm not myself. I'm another version of myself. And also when I'm wearing my regular glasses, I feel the same. I don't wanna say that I feel smarter. I don't, I have to humble myself. I have a stomach ache, I think because of the biscuit. I don't do well with flour. I feel kind of sick. I tried to go to Crossroads, there was no parking, so I drove to Goodwill and I got two things. First is a basic black top. The fabric is very soft and stretchy. And the next t-shirt I bought for sleeping as PJs. I'm so happy that I did not get I Heart New York in New York. This was $5.99 and it's pretty like oversized so it's gonna be perfect for sleeping and the fabric is I think cotton so I'm not gonna sweat because I don't have anything to sleep in so I'm very happy. So now I'm gonna go to two other thrift stores. They're like smaller not big brands. Out of the Closet and Vintage Vortex VB. See you in there. I have to kind of rest and yeah, my stomach is not doing good But here I have water with apple cider vinegar. So this might help. I feel very bloated I look like a mom. See you there I can't. I can't. But I'm in a good mood but in pain oh, There's always something <laughs> I went to two stores and the first store I did not found anything it was pretty empty and now this store was amazing it was more curated there was a lot of stuff and I found those shoes like leather heeled shoes they look really vintage 
my mom had very similar ones. Every time when I'm thinking if I should get something or not, I'm asking, would my mom get those? And if the answer is yes, that I'm getting them because my mom's style in the 90s was pretty cool, pretty cool. My size, $16, so not bad. And they don't look used. They look pretty good. Cute. I'm tired, I'm going home. Yeah, see you at home. It's almost 10 p.m. I had to do some work that I cannot show because it's still a secret that I went on a walk to Trader Joe's and I've been cleaning. I rewatched my podcast episode for tomorrow morning and it's done, it's uploading. And now it's my rest time. I'm gonna do my skincare. I look tired and exhausted. This is the thing I'm washing my face with. Sometimes when I'm working, I feel a lot of pressure to do as much as possible during the day. Then I feel overwhelmed and, and then I'm deciding to not do anything because I'm too overwhelmed. But to be honest, it did not happen for the last pretty long time. I feel like two months, three months. I think I'm better with communicating my emotions and knowing how I feel because before I had issues to even recognize what I feel. I was feeling a lot of times numb. When I feel overwhelmed, I'm not stopping on it. Like I'm overwhelmed. I'm looking into it. Like, why are you overwhelmed? Like what's the root of the issue? And it's probably like I'm overwhelmed because pressure or stress. And why am I stressed? Like stress is not an emotion. Like I'm stressed because because there's probably fear or anger, like a real emotion. And then when I see the root of the problem, I can take care of myself. I'm scared, so what can I tell myself to feel better? Or, or is it even the fear realistic? Sometimes I feel like our mission in life is to unlearn all the things that we have been told as kids and all the like society things, all the rules that don't make any sense. And I feel like in my life, I'm just unlearning all the bad things that I've been told. We have no idea, we have like blank canvas and then people are telling us different stuff and we have no idea what's going on so we just believe them. Then we have to unlearn all the lies that we've been told. I applied toner, then deep hydration oil infused serum. And I have a acne control gel and I like to apply it when I see that there's something going on. Here, I don't know what is happening. I'm gonna use Ultra Facial Overnight Rehydrating Mask. I also use this as a cream and then Gua Sha on your face. It turns into oil. And the most important thing for skin, even if you have acne, is moisturizing. Then your skin doesn't produce sebum oil because it's already hydrated. The more you know, the better. I feel kind of fancy, so I'm gonna also put eye cream, creamy eye treatment. Just letting everyone know that my skin doesn't look like this because all of this. Most of the days I'm just putting moisturizer, sunscreen, at night I'm washing my face and face cream. I have also a lash serum. I think from this place I'm gonna say goodbye because I'm gonna just go and sit and watch Black Mirror and chill. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and thank you for tuning in. We're gonna hang out maybe next week, Sunday, 9 a.m. Love you. Bye! Mm-hmm. <laughs>